Yes, and I'm recording. Awesome. Lots of thumbs up, yay, okay. So I'm like, ladies, this is our frequent flyer door swing. This is for those nights where you just wanna be picked up and thrown up against the wall and just ravished completely. <laughs> Well, this is going to uh, be quick and simple. So this is a, a no installation swing. There's pipes on the other side of the door. And with a sturdy door and a good latch, you're going to be ready to go. Um, the swing itself will hold up to 300 pounds, but you need to make sure your door will too. So that's just the key part, but it can be on any door, even the front door. It doesn't matter. Garage door if you're really adventurous. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you're getting comfortable is you're going to want to sit in it. Now you heard that <laughs> snap. That is normal when you sit in it the first time because it's settling so the pipes are tight against the back of the door. So you're gonna sit in it, and if you're a first time user in the swing, before you ever, ever, ever try this for sex, you're gonna wanna get comfortable with it. So you're gonna just sit in it, suspend your legs a little bit. I'm gonna put this down so you guys can see me. Okay, so you wanna suspend your feet and actually get used to the feeling of being weightless. Um, and so we've got the seat, and it's padded and cushioned, and then we've got the uh, foot or hand straps, whichever one, whichever position you're deciding to give a try to. Um, and so my suggestion is once you're in the swing, is actually just read a book the first time you're doing this, because if you get used to it, you're going to see that this is so comfortable that you're going to be setting your TV in front of it if you got a door that's facing that way. You're not even going to need it for anything else. Just don't make, make sure the kids aren't playing on it. That's kind of weird. So you've got the... See the hand straps, and then up here we've got some additional straps. Um, this up here we've got some oh shit handles. <laughs> this is when it gets really rough, and he's just like, oh, that, yeah, that's that's where you're gonna want to be. So now I highly recommend this swing for, uh, especially for couples that are different heights. So if he's taller, you're shorter, whatever, because this is gonna get you to their level. And the best part, it's really easy to to um, you're gonna want to adjust the seat. And I've had a customer that told me, she's like, I was naked and he was trying to lift me into the swing and it wasn't sexy and I had nothing left to grab on and it was really kind of awkward. So um, the best way to do it is once you have your feet in the foot straps, you actually stand up in the swing on the foot straps and then you're going to take the other piece and this does work better with a partner, but I've worked on this. So and now I'm going to raise it up to whatever I need my partner, wherever I need my partner to be at. So I can meet, now be at his level. And um, it's really hard to have sex all with your legs all pinched together. So that's the other thing that the leg straps are good for. It's going to help open you up and accept your partner in. Now this is just the basic position. There's a couple other fun positions that I can show you, including improving doggy style. So with doggy style, usually, you are leaning forward, you're bent over, and your uh, hand is on the headboard because every time he thrusts, he's pushing you forward and he's pushing you away. <laughs> so you're trying to breathe yourself, and he can't breathe because your face is smashed into the pillows, so your hand's here trying to make a little air hole, and this isn't sexy no more. So you're going to take the frequent flyer swing, and you're going to adjust the seat wherever you need it, but you're going to put this around your waist, and you're simply going to lean forward in the swing. He's going to step in behind you, and you're perfectly fine. You need something to do with your hands. You can bring the straps forward. And this is going to allow you to enjoy hands-free, face-friendly, uh, <laughs> doggy style sex. Now, there's a couple other fun positions, but they're going to get a little more advanced. Um, so it does take a little bit of practice, but you're going to have a lot of fun with it. So you're going to turn around and face the door. You're going to brace on the door frame. And then you're going to be able to have, enjoy, and have the sex that way, too. He's standing in front of you. You're having fun. You can grab his head and do whatever you want now. You can back him up to the door. <laughs> and then the most advanced position and the fun one um, is what I call Wonder Woman. So for Wonder Woman, again, you're going to, this is usually best done with a partner to get up into the position, but you're going to put your feet on the door frame. Oops, this is too long, so I'm going to shorten this up, make it more comfortable for me. So I'm going to put my belly in the swing and on the door frame. Uh, there we go. And then I'll place the scent and do Wonder Woman and my hands are in the straps and I've got Wonder Woman sex now. <laughs> so ladies, whatever be your position or be your leisure, this is going to help spruce things up, spice this up, and give you weightless um, fun sex and new positions with your partner. So ladies, frequent flyer swing. This is the swing you just got to have. Yay! Yeah. <laughs>